This short video is about the full colour print version of my map Fantastical Ireland. The final poster took five months to create. It's a combination of fantasy, actual places of interest and jokes. It's for sale in my online shop. The link is below. The large version is just under four feet wide by two feet tall and is priced at $59 at the time of recording. The smaller three foot wide version is under $43. I don't recommend getting the two foot version because I just think the detail will clump. The poster is based on a physical original which can be seen in the alley next to T.C. O'Leary's Irish pub on Alberta Avenue in Portland, Oregon. So the entire map was created with these tiny marker pens there, Posca and Permapack, however that's pronounced. Uh, I'll put links in the notes below if anybody wants to buy them. The nice thing about working with natural media instead of working on Photoshop is that you get a very nice cross hatching. I find this very difficult, if not impossible to get uh, on a digital format. So the entire image has been exposed to the elements out here in the alley since early 2019 when I created it, again over the course of about four weeks. And since that time it's held up really well. The, the markers have done a good job. There's no varnish or anything on it and so far uh, it hasn't been vandalized. So um, it, it's uh, prone to a little smudging but that's about it. And even in bad climate like this with wind and rain it's lasted longer than I would have thought anyway. So uh, having then created the poster over four weeks I wanted to preserve it and by preserving it that meant photographing the entire thing in very high resolution. That took four weeks uh, and then it took another three months to create the color version in Photoshop. That was a very laborious process and I'll walk you through that now. So this is a montage of the original poster. Well, one problem I had with it was the original was about eight feet wide and you just don't get the resolution from a single photograph. So I ended up having to cut it together from many, many different close-ups and stitch it together. And that took four weeks. That was a lot more work than, than you might think. Um, but that was able to get the resolution close enough to what I was happy with from the original. And then I went through layer by layer and I first of all brightened it up a little bit, darkened out some of the ocean to get a deep blue effect. Uh, you add like the various color layers for the grass. Um, also the all the names were completely redone because I wanted the names to print like very, very uh, crisp on the poster so they wouldn't be blurry. So that way as we print it out at three feet or four feet you can still read it. So layer by layer we simply add the green for the, the grass and every component like even the fences they have their own tree trunks, these little grooves for the the, the, the ploughed earth that has its own as well. I'll just keep adding them in. And that's the process uh, as I went through it. And it took about three months. So th what you just saw there uh, in a few, in basically a minute, took about three months in reality to get the different colors, colors right, the different tonal values right, and uh, to get the, the, the right color forms for the ocean and all the rest of it. So that's it. That's how the, the print version is put together. It's a very big image. It's about 9,000 pixels tall. Um, so as you can imagine, it's a huge file. And, but because the resolution is so high, the print quality is very sharp, very crisp, and very high quality. And uh, this is a map that's aimed pretty much at everybody. It's not just paddy whackery, although there's a bit of paddy whackery in it. Uh, we do have uh, little jokes for people uh, from Ireland of a certain age uh, who, who, who have grown to uh, love and hate Peg. And she is the Pegzilla monster. She's from Munster Island. And there's a lot of jokes for, uh, for people who know the country, for people who've never been, and for people who'd like to go. So I've also squeezed in some of my favorite mythology. My favorite story from Irish mythology is the Salmon of Knowledge. Uh, and uh, as a child, when I read that story, I was going to taste the salmon, even though I'd never actually eaten salmon as a kid. So I always imagined it was delicious, and guess what it is? One of my other jobs is a blog podcast with my wife, Kelly Bryan, and we do uh, a podcast about James Joyce's Ulysses. So, of course, we had to put in the Martello Tower with the opening words from the famous book, Stately Plump Buck Mulligan. And at some point, I'd love to do a, a James Joyce map of Dublin. So that might be a future project. And of course, this being the, the Lusitania going down roughly you're off the coast of Cork. And if we go over a little bit, 
we have another Irish monster, Bosco, who terrorized Irish children during the 1980s. One of my favorite parts of the map is Dublin. And I realized very early on that it was gonna consume, like the real city itself, uh, a lot of the country, a lot of the map. So uh, I squeezed in as much as I could inside this area here. Fans of really bad movies will love Zardoz, uh, who uh, one of the strangest movies ever made, if not one of the worst. Uh, I've also put in Irish mythology, Rawhead and Bloody Bones was an old English Irish monster that my grandmother terrorized my dad with when he was a kid. And we have some actual mythology here. This looks silly, uh, Merlin the Magician stealing Stonehenge. Um, but this was actually um, uh, written down by Geoffrey of Monmouth in his 12th century Chronicles of the Kings of Britain, uh, in which Merlin was alleged to have stolen Stonehenge and floated it across the Irish Ocean. Of course, we have uh, the Skyapods, the uh, mythical medieval creatures that have shaded themselves with a the gigantic foot. Wherever you see a rabbit, it means that there's probably a bit of uh, BS going on. So that's the map. The poster is four feet by two feet wide. It's color, not black and white, because the black and white would be really hard to read at that size. The color looks better, really. Um, so that's it. Uh, link would be below. Hope you like it. Hope you buy it. Thank you.